All right, what is up, my friends? Welcome to Mog Mondays. That's right, Mog Mondays, where I play goblins every Monday because Twitch chat browbeated me into doing it. That's right, I'm a sellout, I'm a man of the people. And here we are, this is episode two of Mog Mondays. Episode one, we played a pretty standard looking modern uh, goblin list that I played, uh, similar to what I played at the Pro Tour. But we gotta, we gotta flush it out a little bit here. We gotta experiment. Can't do the same thing every week. So this week, we are trying out something a little new. We have a combo deck. That's right, Grumgully the Generous. And Grumgully the Generous is a 3 3. I'm just about to start Mog Mondays. I, what, I know. what do you want? I was like, he just. Literally, I, 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 I just sit down, I try and do my stuff. Nicole Top 16's one open. And she thinks she can just do whatever she wants now. It's true. Can I mob, I was, can I was, I mob Monday now? I was bringing in our playmats in the deck, and most importantly, our grocery store is like five minutes up the road. I just did like a 30 minute round trip to feed the hamster. Oh, Zibi has more treats now? What's, what's its name? Zabanajad. Can you please do this now? Thank you. So, Grumgully of Generous, new card from Throne of Eldraine. It is a part of the non-human tribal synergy of the set. 3-3 um, three, three Goblin Shaman. It's also a pretty good card just in a vacuum. I mean, a 3-3 three, three for, for 3 is fine. And then every non-human creature you control enters the battlefield with an extra plus 1, plus 1 counter on it. So, that's already kind of fine, right? We just cast a, a Goblin Matron. It's 2-2. Two, two. Play Mogwar Marshall, it makes two two twos, right? But we have combo potential here. So this works similar to Malaria or uh, Anafenza with Persist creatures like Murderous Redcap, where whenever this dies, it comes back into play with a minus and minus one counter on it, as long as it had no minus and minus one counters on it. So in Magic, plus and plus one counters and minus minus one minus one minus one counters obliterate each other. So it comes into play, it persists, it puts on the plus one plus one, Grumgully puts on the minus one minus one, they cease to exist, and now we just have a naked murderous red gap. And if that dies again, you get the idea here, we keep doing it. So as long as we have a sacrifice outlet with a Grumgully and a red cap, we have infinite damage, infinite red cap pings. So we have a few ways to do that. We have obviously Skirk Prospector is our sacrifice outlet. We're already playing Force Kirk Prospector in our Goblin deck anyway, which is kind of cool because we're playing a combo deck, but like, this is just, you know, 85% of the normal Goblin deck with a combo finish, and all the cards are pretty reasonable. I mean, we're already playing Prospector. I wouldn't play Grumgully by itself without the combo, but it's very reasonable. Merge Rip Recap is a little bit worse, obviously. Um, and now Zibi's awake, great. Um, so happy. <laughs> with... Without, you know, without the uh, the combo. It's not very good, but it's still okay. It's 2-2, two, two, it kills things, whatever. And then we have Putrid Goblin and 2-drop slot. So now we have a few, a few other loops here. Um, obviously, Prospector plus Grumgully plus Red Cap is a kill. Um, Prospector plus Putrid Goblin and Grumgully is infinite red mana, so you can keep sacrificing it. And then Prospector, I'm sorry, uh, Sling Gang plus Putrid Goblin plus Grumgully is also a kill because you can sacrifice the, the goblin to the lieutenant and deal infinite drains. So, um, and, uh, so, so this is all built around, again, a pretty regular goblin core, Aether Vial, you know, Mogwar Marshal, Munitions Expert, and the big thing is Matron. So you have a, a card that's already playable. Zibi's going nuts. He's, I guarantee all the food is in his mouth. Zibi, turn around. Okay, what hamsters do is they store all the food in their mouth, and they go they go off somewhere to try and hide it. He's probably stuffing literally every single piece of food in his mouth. He's gonna turn around, and his mouth is gonna be like like the size of a, a baseball. Here he comes. Turn around, Zibi. <laughs> yes, we also have Pashik Mons, which is a similar thing. With the Pashik Mons in play. We can do the same sort of loop with Putrid Goblin and Grumgully. That requires a Prospector also, though. So, there are a lot of different infinite loops here, and we're playing a pretty regular Goblin deck as well. Field of Ruin, Cavern of Souls, Aether Vial, the usual stuff. Sideboard, um, similar to our other Goblin deck. We're playing a Hooligan now because we have a Green, uh, Trash Master. Put one Pile Driver in the board in case we need to kill our opponent quickly uh, without comboing. The fourth Experts in the board. I had to make room for this stuff. But, um, seems pretty sweet. So, we're going to battle. Let's go. 
Mog Mondays. Let's go. Sonic, resub. Round one and gym are sponsored by as your number one spot for all your card game, board game, miniatures, and more. Also home to Jim's Goblin Token. Use code Jim5 for 5% off your next order. Yes, I saved this for an ad. Sonic, thank you. Thank you for running ads during your uh, your subscriber uh, renewal. Yes, they, it doesn't say the uh, the web the, the web address. All right, so turn around, Zibby. Let's see how fat Zibby's mouth is. He's very tubby. He's a good Zibby. Show some love for, for Zibby in chat. Mog Mondays, here we are. Let's go. There he goes. He's going back to his corner. Zibby loves the corner where no one can see him. Zibby, I'm going to put a bomb in that corner. All right. Hey, the MTG bot's working again. That's awesome. That's pretty cool. Now we have our record back on screen. Opponent, let's go 13. We got goblins to throw at you. All right. Um, yeah, it's reasonable. It's not great. It's reasonable. Obviously, wouldn't mind playing uh, War Marshal after Grom Gully, but now, Grom Gully is, of course, vulnerable to Lightning Bolt and other removal spells, which is kind of tough, but... All right, 13, what are we doing here? You're ruining Mog Monday. Thank you. Yes, keep. Trying to have a fun Mog Monday here, and you're trying to ruin it. Let's go, on the draw. Flooded Strand, go. Putrid Goblin. All right. I'm just going to go here. This is fine. See what kind of flooded strand deck they are. Obviously, we love playing against blue light control. I imagine this deck is worse against blue light control than typical goblins because our combo will probably not go off. But it looks like it could be blue light control. Okay, so tap land. Could have spell snare. We're gonna fire off cavern souls. All right. Well, we now have infinite. We have the infinite mana combo here uh, between putrid goblin, prospector, and grum gully. But we're not gonna go there yet. Let's just get our stuff in play. Start building a board, pressuring them a little bit. I have not seen a joker yet. No, um, I would like to see it. Field of Ruin. All right, so that's annoying. That's the that's the, the fear of exposing Cavernous Souls early as they get to field it. Um, well, that's all our combo pieces, that's for sure. I'm not sure why they would do this in my draw step. Um, because they can't counter whatever I get anyway, right? Unless they have spell, unless they have spell snares, exactly. Sure. Yeah, I think blood control is pretty bad in modern, but people like it. People like to feel smart. It's definitely the uh, I think I'm smart, gonna outplay people kind of deck. We are also lighter on basics in this deck because we're playing the extra color, so that's a little scary for us. All right, get the old Grum Gully out there. Mog Mondays. Want to go for lethal? I mean... If we've gone Prospector, Sack for Red, Sack for Red. 
I mean, I would, we think they have spell snare, so the putrid goblin is not the greatest of ideas. I don't think we could have gone for it, but um, usually I like to play a slower game against blue light control decks. I'm gonna get path in our upkeep here. We could have gone for it. We could have gone for it. Again, the the cool thing I think that we're like a goblin deck first and a combo deck second. Like we're not like dying to try and you know rush out a combo. So, all right, they missed a land drop, which means I don't really want to cast anything. Honestly, we'll see if they what they do here after I attack. Means they have seven spells in their hand. They have path. Sure. Again, we are a little light on basics, which kind of stinks, but. I think we're going to red cap them. Not playing a uh, ringleader into uh, open mana. So, red cap, ahoy. Again, I think it's going to be pretty hard to combo against, like, super interactive decks. So, we're just playing, a, a, you know, a good a goblin deck. Which is good against blue-white control anyway, so it's fine. We're actually might only have one land left to fetch. Kind of sucks. Normal, normal goblin deck has four basics, two blood crypts. I believe we have one blood crypt, one stopping ground, three basics. Yeah, that's kind of a tilt against like path right path to exile and stuff. Oh boy, they're mana leaking my murders red cap. Sure, RD, RDW. Month number two, it means you chose to come back. Thank you so much, my friend. Appreciate it. Welcome back. Mog Mondays. Y'all wanted it. Here we are. Mog Mondays. And they're missing land drops. Like a chump. And Zibby's going for more food. More food? You're a monster, Zibby. You're a monster. Oh my god, we drew the last basic land. That was the worst draw in the deck. Because now our Bloodstained Mire doesn't do anything. That was the literal only blank draw in our entire deck. That is terrible. <sighs> Alright. That sucks. Alright. Um, I mean, we think they have Spell Snare, but whatever. Putrid Goblin, ahoy. Wow. That's weird. I was right and chose not to go for it on that turn. It's kind of weird. Kind of weird. All right. Well, Prospector, ahoy. They are 12, and we are trying to kill them, and we just need to pressure them. So they tap out. We can cast Ringleader, or we'll draw Cavernous Souls. Nope, no land drop. He threw vile. Awesome. Alright, well. I can't believe you drew the one basic land. Though. The literal only land, only card in our entire deck. Our, the, the case card that made our, our Meyer bad. It sucks. Sucks. So they're deciding they want to snapcast your path here, I guess. Which would be great for us. We can resolve this Goblin Ringleader. If you got a good way to get ZB Cam better, maybe get like a like a fisheye lens or something. So you can always see him in the cage. Yeah, you, Zibby. Yeah, because you always hide in that corner and they can't see you. And I'm sure if I flip the camera around, you're going to go to the other corner. Because you're a very aware little hammy. Alright, so they're trading terribly here. Unfortunately, the path doesn't give us a land. One of the things is that, is that um, them pathing us is awesome. Because Goblins is a deck that loves a lot of mana. 
So we we lose out on the opportunity to uh to take advantage of that. But all right, here we go. Big rips. Red cap. Grum Gully. Matron. Not too shabby. Uh, we're gonna play this Aether Vial and ship the old turnskis. Uh, we went nine and two in the arena challenge. Nine and two. A little time pressure. Path Ringleader, fine by me. Did its job. I went six and three in the classic playing goblins. I had a very weird tournament. Um, played my standard goblin list. Um, I played against Burn four times. Not a very good matchup. I went three and one against it. I lost to Burn. I lost to a Valakit deck because that's also a terrible matchup. And I lost to. What's my third loss to? Oh, I lost to Rakdos Pyromancer with main deck Plague Engineer. In game one, he played Plague Engineer. I killed it. He Colgan's commanded it back. I killed it. He unearthed it, and then I lost. And then I also lost game two to Plague Engineer. Uh, so that kind of sucked. So got cheesed out by uh, Plague Engineer, lost to Valakit, terrible matchup, and lost to Burn, but I beat it the other three times I played against it, even though it's not a good matchup. So... Did they not path? I mean, I had four, I had four brutalities on my board, but they just didn't cast Path to Exile. That's wild. Yeah, I think Plague Engineer is a terrible design. Obviously, it's Mod Monday. It's kind of weird that I think I think that, but I think Plague Engineer is an awful, awful design. It should not be a main deckable card. You should never lose that card in the main deck. Unless you're playing it's like a toolbox deck, you know? Alright, now we're just cooking with gas here. Um, I think we're just going to cast, like, Red Cap. Yeah, I could just cast Matron, I guess. Um... It does suck this land is dead. <laughs> Seven lands would be so much better than six. Right, whatever, cast this. Yeah, Devil should not have Death Touch. I think it should also be legendary, personally. You can't have two of them in play. Because, like, two plagues is always, like, the death knell for any tribal deck. One is tough, but two is just unbeatable. What's up, Zipster? What are you doing? I can't see you. Alright, um, they're letting us do it. What are we even getting? I mean, I can get, like, I could get a... And these, the thing is, like, going for the combo here is stupid. You get a prospect record. They're just 6th life, you're just gonna kill them. Might even be a, a Mog War Marshal, honestly. I, just, I could just violate an end step. I'm gonna assume they're gonna Wrath. I'm just gonna say go. I feel like whenever I look at Zibby, he always looks right back at me. Like, if I look at him, he's like, looking at me. <laughs> Good job, Zibby. If those who don't know, Zibby's named after Mika Zibanejad. He's a top line center on the Rangers. I always name my pets after, um, or my, my, my stream pets after, uh, <laughs> after, um, hockey players on my fantasy hockey team for Giroux and Burnsy. And Zibanejad, so far this season, has four goals and four assists in two games. He's having an insane start to the season. And it's all thanks to Zibby, for sure. All right. Um, can I actually kill them now? Um, Matron, Prospector. I'm pretty sure I can kill them now. Only one blew up. We're going to go for the kill. Ah, oh, with your prospector. Don't even need to search for it. I don't know. I don't know how they get top us for one blue. So, first combo kill. Probably didn't need it, but oh, I should play this first. Oops. Doesn't matter. 
Yuck, modern. All right, now he's trying to escape. Zibby. He was trying to escape. Climb the water bottle. Um, all right, so now we have one, two, three. Sack for red. Sack for red. A red cap. And there's your combo. Game one, Mog Mondays, we're comboing. Sack this for red. Persist. Only need to do it twice, but let's just show off for a little bit. Hype and chat. That's Zibby. He's our, he's our hamster. Zibby's our new mascot. I know. I got a hamster. It's weird, but. All right. Beating up on blue light control. Literally the theme of Mog Mondays. We're going to bring in a pile driver. Um, and probably the expert, honestly. And we're going to cut... It's funny because normally I would cut prospectors against blue light control, but they're part of our combo. But I don't really plan on comboing them. Maybe we should play a normal goblin game or a win. Um, so I'm not actually sure what we cut. Like, I guess a red cap. Uncle, sure. You got it. Um... You're all queued up, Uncle. All right, so... Yeah, I guess we're going to cut, like... We'll cut the Putrid Goblins. I'll cut one Putrid Goblin. This is fine. Should be in good shape here. Sad because I know more Faithless Looting. Yeah, I mean... Mox Opal's okay. Faithless Looting's not, though. So, so where are we, so we living? Where are we living? Happy? Are you happy? Are you not entertained? I mean, Sky Mental is pretty cool, for sure. Mog Mondays, if you're just tuning in, Zibby's happy. He has food. Everyone else is happy. They're watching. Uh, they're watching me play goblins. Opponents trying to figure out how to sideboard against our combo. If you're just tuning in, Grum Gully plus a sack outlet plus a persist creature is infinite creatures. Red cap kills him. And this hand is pretty bad. Uncle, sub Discord, all the information you need for your deck live. You don't need to have moto. You just send, it, you don't send me the cards, you send me the deck list. So just send me your deck list. Simple as that. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna mulligan this one. Eh, it's not great, but it's better. Right, we're gonna ship one of our fetchable lands. I think ship fetch land doesn't matter. It's the same thing. Uh, yeah. All right. Not a great hand, but it's fine. It's fine. Celestial Colonnade, the most powerful land in modern. Aether Vial. Alright. Not amazing, but fine. Um we're not gonna play a two drop, I don't think. Grumgully. Yeah, we're just gonna play Lance I go. We're just gonna lean lean on our Aether Vial here. Would I like a grilled cheese? Uh sure. Here on Mod Mondays.
All right, so they're playing. They're playing Narset in Gyro Reach Sanitarium. All right, so Vile's gonna go up. Another Aether Vile? That's not bad. That's not bad. Um, eh, we'll ship that. See what they do. Thoughts on Dreadhorde Arcanist in Blister Burn? Uh, way too slow. Not very good. Grum Gully. Grum Gully. Mana Leak, my Aether Vial. Fantastic. Uh, so I'm not going to favor that. And now we're going to play... If we get if we get Putrid Goblin Smell Stared, it's fine. We'll live. It's not the end of the world. You know? Alright. Then we'll say go. It is a little awkward because we'd like to Mog or Marshal with Grum Gully in play, but we're not really in a rush, so... Green Sun Zenith, good for, too good for Modern. I think it's just too... It's too homogenizing. Every deck just plays Zenith because Zenith plus Dryad Arbor is so good. I would love to see Zenith uh, unbanned and Dryad Arbor banned. That's the card that makes Zenith stupid, in my opinion. We're going to Echo. Zombie Goblin hitting all the, all the tribes. I mean, Dried Arbor is the reason why Zenith is banned. It would not be too good if it wasn't for that card. What's up, Halo Spades? Mog doesn't stand for anything. It's Mog War Marshal, Mog Mondays. Mog is a, co a common uh, name associated with goblins, and that's the catchy name we came up with for Mog Mondays. Now, the question is, do I want to... Expose Cavern of Souls now, or no? So... Correct. So the thing is, a Green Sun Zenith is literally just a Lana or Elf. One green, put in a Lana or Elf. Or a Green Sun Zenith, which is why it's too good. If it's just Green Sun Zenith, it's fine. But, alright, we're going to hold on to our Cavern of Souls here and just say go. They activate Sanitarium. It's a little weird, but... Celestial Purge, my putrid goblin. Well, there's something you don't see every day. Uh, Alright, sure. What is this? What are they doing? What's going on? Timely reinforcements? It's a pretty good one. It's a pretty good one. How much better is this deck than Devoted Druid combo? I mean, it might be worse. They're just kind of different. It's just less all-in. You know, we can just play a regular game and then combo kill them out of nowhere sometimes, you know? All right, so we're going to untap. Vile is going to go to four. Ding! Yes, please. Big money. How is turn one Zenith into Dryad Arbor more broken than Forest into Lana or Elf? Because when you draw a Zenith on turn five, it's also a Knight of the Reliquary, not just a Lana or Elf. I mean, it's Lana or Elf and a bunch more. That's why. it's On turn one, it's not more broken. It's probably a little bit less than, than Lana or Elf in a vacuum. But 
that part doesn't matter because it's so much better later in the game. So, you can ask questions about standard. Um, Alright, so... We're going to expose Cavern now. So I want to be able to kill a soldier if uh, if they block the Grimgully three times. So obviously Grimgully making my Ringleader a 3-3, three, three, my Expert a 2-2, two, two, Matron a 2-2 two, two, is still pretty good. So the card is, is fine by itself in that regard. Not to a boxer, just a coincidence. Obviously not a extremely brilliant or unfounded idea. The the second this card was printed, everyone was like, oh, Surf Prospector and Mog War Marshal, or, uh, and uh, whatever, Red Cap, duh. So this is my version of a deck. What's Zibby doing? Zibby's active today, this is great. Let's get to give him some food. I'll just have to starve him all the time he's not on stream and then give him food while he's on camera so he walks around. I'm kidding. PETA, don't come after me. So... What do you think, opponent? How's it looking over there? I think his deck is better or worse than regular goblins. I have no idea. This is our first match with the deck. She brewed it up last night. Now we're trying it out. Certainly adds an interesting angle. Um, suppose you can combo kill as fast as turn three, I guess. Which is kind of cool. Obviously, Goblins doesn't have that angle normally. Uh, but depends on how much worse it is in fair games than Goblins. It's been pretty good so far, honestly. Unfortunately, our opponent is going heinously slow, and I apologize for that. Um, they are six minutes behind us in clock and just sitting here doing nothing, so that kind of sucks. But Mog Mondays, every Monday, of course, uh, from now on, y'all wanted to see it, and here we go. Also, CoolStuffInc.com, number one source for all your game shopping needs, as well as my articles and videos. So Mog Mondays is over, you're like, man, I wish I could watch more of Jim's content. Well, you can. CoolStuffInc.com, do some shopping, hop on over, we got a new video. Video Monday, Article Friday, Emery, Ascendancy, Combo. Pretty cool. Check it out. Coolstuffinc.com. Are they assigning no blockers? Uh, I guess. All right, sure. I guess we'll matron post combat for a ringleader. I mean, they're probably going to. I don't know what they're going to do, honestly. That, that makes zero sense to me. Oh, why would they would do nothing? Um, if they have a Wrath, they want to... They want to... Uh, I, I don't know why they would not block. Even just like chump block. Oh, cool, thanks. Hashtag food token. Yay! That's my entry. Alright, well... Your big squad's not very good, no. Just too narrow. Run the pro, the pro blue goblin? No. Path to exile? Sure. I mean... Pretty weird game we have going here. And they also allowed my matron to come, to come with a counter and then path me? I don't know what's going on here. I don't know what's going on. No idea. Not a clue. Narset Parter Veils. Yeah, sure. You got it. Yeah, when you play timely, you know, you really want to respect your tokens and not really put them in any danger. You know, they showed up on time to help you. So just throwing them away under the bus of a, a rampaging goblin ringleader, it's not a very nice thing to do, you know? And now they have Stony Silence. Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, 
I guess it's fine. I mean, you're probably gonna expert the Narset anyway. So I'm just gonna ringleader and attack them, I think. If this whiffs and they draw a Wrath, it could be in trouble. But. Oh shit, I screwed up. I tapped the wrong land. I only have one Blood Crypt in my deck. I'm used to having two. Who boy, that's a, that's a combo kill. Alright, uh, that sucks. Yeah, bringing Sony is very bad against Goblins. Don't do that. That really sucks. I can't cast the, the Expert. That's really bad. Alright, bad play. Just unfamiliarity with my, with my deck list. So now I actually kind of have to attack Narset. That's really bad. I, I might just throw, throw this game away. Um, yeah, that was really, really bad. All right, um, let's fix this, I guess. Can't blame Auto Tapper. Can't blame Auto Tapper. All right, we're going to attack Narset, just so they can't get a card off of it, because if they Wrath now, it's pretty bad. This sucks. That, that really sucks. So I just thought this could get a, could get a Blood Crypt, because I usually, usually play two. But because they're playing a three-color mana base, um, I'm only playing one Blood Crypt, so I don't have black mana. I wanted to expert the Narset post combat, but I screwed up. So I went nine and two in the uh, the arena thing. Holy God! If our opponent went any slower, uh, they would die of old age. No blocks. I, I I seriously don't understand what's happening. I guess that one's fine, because, like, they could have saved Narset at the cost of their soldiers. Like, Narset could find them a Wrath. Maybe they already have a Wrath. But then why wouldn't they block the previous turn? I don't know. Just guy fires. We lost to the Mirror, we lost to Grixis fires. Uh, we had already put cards in the bottom from a pre the, the previous string leader, so we already knew our bottom two cards were lands. Therefore, it makes the odds worse by um, by fetching. So, all right, they are dead, super dead, so dead. We draw a land, we kill them. No, all right. So we could have drew a land, we could have Palshik Mons sling gang them, but now we can just uh, expert the Lear Dawnbringer. And uh, cast the ringleader and so on and so forth. I should have cast ringleader first. I was stupid. I just talked about that. Whatever. Does not really matter. Um, Sling gang can't actually just kill them. Not very close, not very close. I've not played Once Upon a Time in Tron. I don't think it's good. I think Once Upon a Time is heinously overrated. Uh, it's still fine, but I don't think it's good in Tron. However, I have not tried it, so I'm not sure. Now they're blocking. Now they're blocking. All right, your turn, my friend. There's F6 in their turn. I don't know what's happening here, honestly. I really don't know what my opponent's doing. They're playing really slow, skipping turns, making weird plays. I don't know what's happening. Maybe they're under duress. Maybe they're, like, in serious trouble. Like, their house is being attacked, and someone showed up with a gun, and they're like, you must play this game, or I'll kill you. But they're too nervous to play properly. That makes sense, right? It's a lot of losing. Scatman, thanks for following. You haven't followed the stream with that follow button. Of course, watching on YouTube, make sure you follow on there. Mog Mondays, we are playing Grum Gully the Generous Combo. That's right, Combo. Mog Mondays is brought to you by bcwsupplies.com. 
I got to break out my BCW Elite 2 sleeves yesterday and Saturday for SCG Philly. They shuffle great. They last forever. A drunk fool, new sub. What's your name? Where you from? Welcome, my friend. Check it out. BCW, BCWsupplies.com. Use promo code JIM10 for 10% off your order on BCWsupplies.com. Check it out. Ooh. Ooh. That's a... Uh, that's a bad one. That's a bad one. All right. Uh, Luke from Maryland, new sub. Welcome, my friend. All right, we're going to mulligan. Matchup against Harden Scales? I would say it's pretty difficult. Um, Sand's better. Sand's certainly better. Uh, we are going to ship something. It's probably just Putrid Goblin. Just like the worst card. And uh, we're both on six. Yes, Grum Gully is unbelievably better than Metallic Mimic. Um, it's a goblin. It's three toughness. It actually does something. Uh, you can find it at Matron, find it at Ringleader. Infinitely better. All right, I mean, just Vile go. Yep, I played in Philly. Played Burn in the Modern Seat, went 6 3. Played Goblins in the Modern Classic, went 6 3. I am Stone Medium. What is this? Legendary Land Tribal? That's kind of cool. Manamo and Emery. Chromatic Star, Grinding Station, Kethis. Uh, Alright. Well, they're doing stuff. That's for sure. And... Well, I guess they get to untap with their Kethis. That kind of sucks. On the play, we could kill it. On the draw, we can't. Kethis combo in modern. Do you think Kethis combo is fairly unexplored and possibly good? It does do let us lose to both. Artifact Hate and Graveyard Hate, which is pretty sketchy, but maybe there's some cool sideboard plan you could play. I think the Selesnia Adventure deck is pretty bad. Uh, I don't think it's very, very good against Golos or Jeskai Fires. So, uh, Halo Spade, there's 16 players in the tournament. Uh, top 16 in a Phantom Legends tournament is not a good thing. <laughs> I mean, Emery can just app and draw here to get, like, Chromatic Star. <laughs> no worries, Halo. No worries. Wishclaw Talisman. Okay. actually a legendary land tribal so the reason why they're playing all these legendary lands is because uh there you can exile the legendary lands to kethis which is pretty awesome so it just gives you many many more things to exile for kethis all right so they got by grinding station okay and we're gonna kill I guess we're going to kill Emery, like... Our opponent might be Collins Mullen. The name looks somewhat familiar. Ringleader. I mean, it's fine, I guess. 
little Pashik Mons, you know, doing some stuff. We're going to kill the Emery before they get any more cards off it. They only have two cards in their hand, like, so... I mean, if they have a Kethis in their hand, they can't even cast it yet. So, like, this feels okay. Not great, but okay. They do have Demonic Tutor in play, so... Right, they're going to... Sacrifice an Artifact to mill three. They milled Mox Amber, Hope of Gear Par, Mox Amber, another grinding station. Okay. I mean, if they can play Kethis here, they can... Alright. Red Kreplin, 13 month reset, welcome back. That's cute. I think the Wishlaw Talisman, sack it with the ability of a stack. There's an Unearth, an Engigo Castle, Mana Confluence. I'm not sure, Halo. Uh, I haven't played Mono Black Aggro too much. Unearth Kessis? We're probably just dead, honestly. Where's Shakespeare? Zibby, where's Shakespeare? Zibby, did you escape? No, he's just in this corner. Okay, let's see. What are we reading today? It's only turn four. Only turn four. King Henry the fifth. King Henry the fifth. Anything good in this one? Ooh. Upon the king, let us our lives, our souls, our debts. Our careful wives, our children, and our sins lay on the king. We must bear all. O oh, hard condition, twin born with greatness, subject to the breath of every fool, whose sense no more can feel but his own winging. What infinite heart's ease must kings neglect that private men enjoy? And what of kings that privates have not too, save ceremony, save general ceremony? And what art thou, thou ideal ceremony? What kind of god art thou that suffers more of mortal griefs than do thy worshippers? What are they rents? What are they comings in? O ceremony, show me but thy worth. What is thy soul of adoration? Art thou aught else but place, degree, and form? Creating awe and fear in other men, wherein thou art lies happy being feared. Then they in fearing, what drinkst thou oft, instead of homage, sweet, but poisoned flattery? O, oh, be sick, greatness, and bid thy ceremony give thee cure. Think thou the fairy fever will go out, with titles blown from adulation? Will it give peace to flexure and low bending? Canst thou, when thou commands the beggar's knee? Command the health of it? No, thou proud dream that playest so subtly with the king's repose. I am a king that find thee, and I know. Tis not the balm, the scepter, or the ball, the sword, the mace, or the crown imperial, the intrused robe of gold and peril, the false title running before the king, the throne he sits on, nor the tide of pomp that beats upon the high shore of this world. No, not all these, thrice gorgeous ceremony, not all these, laid in bed majestical, can sleep so soundly as the wretched slave, who with a body filled and vacant mind, gets him rest, crammed with distressful bread. Never sees a hard night, the child of hell, but like a lackey, a goblin lackey, from the rise to set, sweats in the eye of Phobius all night, sleeps in Elysium next day after dawn, doth rise and help Hyperion to his horse, and follows so the ever-running year, with profitable labor to his grave, and but with ceremony, such a wretch, winding up days with toil and nights, with the had forehead and vantage of king. The slave, a member of the country's peace, enjoys it, but in gross brain little watts, watch watch the king keeps to maintain the peace, whose hours the pheasant best advantages.
He's still going? This is fun. Am I dead yet? What's going on? Slurp, Supply. Thanks for the reset. Appreciate that. Um, yeah, I mean, Mox Opal is not going to be legal in a month. I mean, in a year. I already said that. I tweeted that a few months ago that uh, at this time next year, Mox Opal will not be a legal magic card. I wonder why. I wonder why. Are they even playing Mox Opal? Yeah, they're playing Mox Opal. It's busted. Busted. Yep, Shakespeare, Mogs Mondays. Um, I guess I can cast everything to Millis. All right, this is fine. They, 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 their kill condition's already locked up, so. All right, Mog Mondays, having fun. Getting turn four killed by some weird combo deck. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, yeah. No interaction, really, though. That's good for us. Uh, bringing Tin Street Hooligan, Munitions Expert, Goblin Trash Master. Uh, don't want Thoughtseize. Maybe... Um, we definitely want to try and just kill them with our combo, probably. Because they don't really interact. I think I might actually cut the Ringleaders. Um, I don't know if I want Relic or not. Do you want Relic? What do we want here? I don't even know what to do. Relic's, like, good. I can probably deal with it. Eh, I guess Relic's pretty good. Alright, maybe you don't want Hooligan, actually. Or Thoughtseize. Maybe we want, want the Relics. Bring the Relics. I don't think I want Trash Master, actually. That Shakespeare took a lot out of me. Jeez. Um, I'm going to cut two ringleaders and cutting war chief seems pretty loose. I mean, I want to combo kill them. I got a field, I guess. Uh, I want to combo kill them, but maybe we can cut a red cap. I could cut a sling gang. Sling gang is worse than red cap. Yeah, I guess it's fine. Right, let's try this. Killing Grinding Station? Yeah, but I don't know if we can even do that before it matters, you know? I mean, Mox Opal is just, like, ridiculous, you know? And the thing is, like, it was already pretty bad, and now all they first printed so many good artifact cards in the last few sets, like Emery, Urza, it's just getting ridiculous, you know? All right. Um, this hand seems pretty good. We have two parts of our combo, a relic and a vial. Keep. Keep, keep, keep. All right. Gooblin. Aether vial. Your turn. Mog Mondays, Mog Mondays, Mog Mondays, Mog Mondays. Yeah, Mox Amber, you got it. Which is Bobble, turn one Emery. Emery is so stupid. Like, how did they print this card and think it was okay, you know? What were they thinking? What were they thinking? Need to play a second Emery? No. Glimmer Void? All right. They need Unearth Psy. This deck seems busted. Alright, well they are out of things, I guess. Modern is the best it's ever been. Uh, disagree. I think it's fine. I don't think it's particularly good. Robert! Do you even goblin, bro? Uh, yeah. Every Monday. On Log Mondays. Thanks for resub. Appreciate that. All right, well, here's a relic. And that's a, a card from your yard. And there you go. That was our turn one, yes. Uh, I do not know much of the King Arthur Tales. I should have probably... I guess I can pop in response to them activating Emery. We have two, we have two relics, so we can be a little aggressive with the first one. Targeting Bobble. Um... It's a pretty slow draw. You gotta you got, you got play Vile. You can't play Relic on one. You have to be able to, be able to do your own plan. 
Um, I think this is fine. I don't want to draw a card, too. Actually, you know, we're just going to pop it. We'll just do it. They're not going to kill us this turn. If they do, whatever. Um, and I need to draw a card so I can be able to uh, get our combo off. I guess if they're super clever, they could sacrifice this to keep me from relicking. Because us, us relicking there makes it pretty obvious we have another relic. Sacrifice Mox Amber to draw a card. Sure. Alright, so Prospector's in. Vile. I might Prospector again, then take it up. Yeah, I should like that. Then go up on the vial. Cavern of Souls. I mean, we could... We do a few things here. We could War Chief and Relic with the ability to Relic again. It's not bad. You can also red cap the emery, but that feels pretty awful. Um, we gotta just war chief next turn. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait. You could like sack their hope and draw a card. No, all right. Because we can combo kill them. It's not that bad if they make a huge board with Psy, because we can just kill them out of nowhere. Whereas normally, if we were playing a regular Goblin deck, we have to grind through all the tokens, so it's not that bad. What's up, Lego? Went 9-2. and two. Alright, they have many, many multicolored lands in play. And here comes Kethis. With no graveyard. Love to see it. So your next turn, target player who was dealt combat damage by hope of gear purpose and can't cast non creature spells. That's pretty cool with Emery. You should do it every turn. This deck seems good, honestly. Um I feel like an Emery back the hope. They can't cast it. They have mana floating. Oh, it's free because of Kethis. All right, well. Legacy Goblins? I'm sure I'll play Legacy Goblins at some point on Mog Monday. I think Goblins is very bad in Legacy right now, but... It's Mog Monday. we got to play Goblins, so... All right, so up on that... Um... Violent War Chief. We're gonna cast Red Cap. And we should draw Matron or a Grum Gully or. Um, that's basically it, I guess, but. What's up, Skip? You wanted it, you got it. Mog Mondays. What does standard get called? A normal stream. Yeah, Goblin Lackey hangs out in here sometimes. I'll poke into Goblin Lackey stream once in a while. Standard Goblins is also going to be on the list, so. Sack two things, draw a card. Sure. And now four cards in hand. And 
and a Wishclaw Talisman. It's pretty annoying. Sure. One of my streams normal. Yeah, you know. Another Hope of Gear part. Sure. Alright. Yeah, I mean, untap and draw, I guess. Keith Vile on three. You want Matron or you want the Grum Gully? Or Bloodstained Mire. Or Bloodstained Mire. Uh, do we just play it and fetch? I guess they know if we would we could kill them, we would just kill them, so just say go here. I mean, like, I don't know if they can kill us with uh, a relic in play. You know, maybe they can. Who knows? They are starting to build a flying army, too, so it's like they're doing stuff. We're going to draw something at some point. Obviously, we can, you know, draw another card off Relic if we feel like we are going to lose the game and have no chance. We're on, like, a, a four-turn clock, I would say, with their Thopters. Yeah, bring the pain, I guess. Grinding Station. Alright, well, that is a, uh, a card that does things. Pwn's deck does seem sweet. The thing is that it does it is vulnerable to both Rest in Peace and Stony Silence. So either of those cards is very good against it, which is kind of a a mark against it, but it does seem pretty powerful. Alright, so we're gonna sack an artifact, mill some cards, sure. Untap it, sure. Mill some more cards, sure. Exiling two cards and activating Kethis, allowing them to cast Mox Opal, Hope of Gear Par, Hope of Gear Par. That is three tokens. Initially, I left the vial on three, because now if I draw a card off Relic, I draw Grum, Grum Gully, I can't kill them. I mean, this is just like some more tokens. We're dead in like two turns here. This is, this is pretty bad. I think I'm going to pop it. We gotta win in like two turns anyway, because the Thopters are just gonna kill us. So. Alright, big money here, big money. Land's not good. <sighs> Pretty crappy match. Pretty crappy match. Uh, Rakdos Charm's not very good. I mean, Matt, we have to be dead now. There's no chance we're not dead. Alright, that's a brick. Maybe hit one, one legendary land, but... Wishclaw Talisman. Psychic to Grinding Station. Yeah, we're dead. 
Took our shot. We missed. Maybe we should have waited one more turn. I don't know. Whatever. Alright, we're changing seed. We're, we're, we're dead. Alright, it's pretty lame. Uh, obviously, we just drew a million lands in that game, which kind of sucks, but... We could have, like, held maybe the Relic one more turn, but we were drawing to... You're drawing to, uh, what's this? A package? Who's that from? From Wizards or Elgato? No, Corsair. Corsair? Ooh. Is that my new Corsair stream technology? It might be. Hashtag soon. Hashtag soon. So yeah, if we could draw on a matron, a matron, a ringleader, a grumgully, it would have won. So, what do you do? Whatever. Round number three. What are you doing to Zibby? You're moving Zibby. I am moving Zibby. He will not accept being moved. That's oh. his that's his corner. Guess what? I tried to move him. Guess what? Oh my god, what are you doing to him? This is animal abuse live on television. Look how mad he is. There. His wheel is Yeah, I tried that already. It didn't work. What do you mean it didn't work? I put his wheel in his corner, he just moved it and went back to his corner. Zibby is jacked. I know. He is jacked. Keep Round three, Mog Mondays. What did Jim and John say today? That Zibby was jacked? Yeah, Zimmy's jacked. Oh, about <laughs> he's, he's gonna lift a hundred thousand pound weight. He said that if he was in like a, like a whole bunch of hamster fight or something like that, Zimmy would wreck everyone. Yep. There he is. He which, can he, wait. which he would do because hamsters. The person at the pet store told us that male hamsters do not suffer the presence of another male hamster. He's they will. They will kill each other. He is going to sleep behind us. I told you. Wait, he just goes back to the corner. I I know. I can't deal with him. Uh, Relic is much better than Rakdos Charm. Rakdos Charm is not very good. Relic costs one in cycles, and Rakdos Charm just is not very good. Uh, all right, so... Wait, I could move the camera. Could I move to the other nah, side? Nah, I'll, I'll move the camera later. I'll deal with him. I'll deal with Zibby Can later. Can I do it now? Sure, whatever, fine. Is that wire long enough? It should be. Oh my god, Zibby Cam! Zibby, guess what? No, you said it should be. Okay. You gotta move the wheel too, though. Oh, there he is. He's busted. <laughs> busted. He's busted. Oh, he knows it too. Look at him. He's moving on. I told you. You little rat. He just knows me he's on camera, you know? You little rat. No, that's good. Right there, right there. Don't move it. Good? That's good, yes. I did it. We did it, Zippy. I'm he'll so he'll good at this. He'll figure it out in about like five minutes, maybe. Should I leave the wheel? Yeah, whatever, just leave it. Eldrazi Temple. Look at he's so cute. He's being so cute. Yes, the beast's existence is cute. He's going to sleep behind his wheel. All right. Have fun. I'm watching. I'm in chat. Oh, yeah? I'm creeping. Oh, yeah? I'm creeping. That's one more viewer. I like that. <laughs> one more viewer. Um, all right. Mog Mondays. All right, so our hand's like fine here. We're like we're lacking a payoff, but we're certainly getting on the board and doing some stuff. Oh look, a double Eldrazi Temple draw. It's never happened before in the history of Magic. God, I hate Eldrazi Tron. Chalice on one. In response. Vile on one. Chalice of the Void is not very good against goblins. <laughs> we have Cavern of Souls, we have Aether Vile, we only have eight one drops anyway, so. Um, so we're going to. Vile's going up. Not paying Echo. And. I guess we're just going to ship, uh, ship the house here. It's funny. We obviously draw Aether Vile. We're the only one drop in the entire deck that we can't use. Perfect. Love it. Uh, why do we not care about drawing a card? Drawing a card is the best thing you can do in Magic. Like, 
Rawr. Guess who's probably playing Echo next turn? This guy. Oh, that was a close game. Close game. I feel like modern, a lot of the games just haven't been close lately. I don't know. Like the, I guess I played Burn. So I guess that's, you know, I, I sent it playing Burn in the open. But even my Goblin games, like a lot of them just weren't close. I don't know. All right, Trash Master, uh, In Street Hooligan, Expert. The problem is that normally we would shave the prospectors, but we actually need them for our combo. Uh, it's kind of hard to board out the combo y stuff. Like, um, we definitely want to meet the expert for sure. I mean, red cap's like not great against them. Any sling gang's also not great against them. And then we can like cut, I mean, like cut that putrid goblin. Sure, let's try this. Let's try this. Mog Mondays. So we have a field of ruin, but like our hand's pretty bad. Um, we're on the draw too. We're trying to ship this hand. So that kind of sucks. All right, Mulligan. Eh, this is fine. We can keep this. Ship Prospector. Put Mulligan as a five. That's cool, at least. London Mulligan, obviously pretty good for Eldrazi Tron. Oh. Oh. Okay. How about White Eldrazi? Not Eldrazi Tron. Suppose we only saw temples, so that's fair. That's very fair. How about like a Stoneforge Mystic on turn two? And our opponents have been so slow today, it's actually unreal. Do I beat Batterskull? Easily. Batterskull is no problem. Just dies. Expert. Go around it. Goblins is a deck that wants to get into a fair fight. Let's put it that way. We draw more cards than everyone. We want to get into a fair fight. Goblins does not like unfair fights. Although... We are obviously playing a version of this deck that is a little more interested in being unfair, but Charming Prince. Uh, I don't think this is a playable magic card.
Worm Coil is also beatable. The problem is Worm Coil is usually backed up by Ugin and Ulamog and O Stone. So can't beat those cards too. I don't know what's going on. Uh, look, I don't I don't play my opponent's cards, they play them, right? Not me. Grizzly Bear Scry 2. One top, one bottom. It's powerful stuff. Powerful stuff. Alright, I mean we're just gonna ship a turn here probably. We're gonna play hobble once they go. I guess we'll I don't know, territory, I guess. Uh, it's not gonna not gonna reveal goblin from my hand. I mean, is blinking thought not seer even good? Like, my opponent's a streamer, but always plays taxes. All right. Oh, here it comes. Here comes Charming Prince to charm me. I've been charmed. Better Flicker Wisp? Uh, I can test your statement. <laughs> I disagree. Flicker Wisp at least flies. Acts for three. Alright, so now we're, we're going to kill a Charming Prince. Just put, put, put a third Goblin in place. So we can kill this uh, Displacer too. Probably. We'll see what we we'll see what we do. Alright, um So I was just gonna say Mature for Ringleader, but now he just drew a ringleader. So Yeah, we're just gonna Matron, I guess still. I suppose that the displacer isn't even that good. Maybe I should have just left the the prince in play, honestly. Because now if they play a thought knot, like um where's ring leader at? Now if they play a thought knot, like they're gonna take our expert probably, but this is all fine. Ring leader Mog Mondays. Alright, so Boros lands, assuming they're not playing Boros though. Another Displacer, sure. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, none of our stuff is good to displace, so. If we could somehow borrow a Displacer, that would actually be kind of cool. Flicker our own stuff. All right, Ringleader Ahoy. Uh, Marshall, Marshall, Warchief. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, we're doing it. They have one card. We have six. Alright, well, we're about to do many... Oh my god. We're about to do filthy things. Alright, here we go. It's goblin goblin and ninging time. Raise your hand in chat. If you remember the card, Goblin Sharpshooter. Yeah. Yeah, we, uh, we're doing it. We're doing it. Imagine if they had, like, a, a flame sweep or something. I guess they would have done, like, done that already, probably. So, doing it and doing it and doing it right. Ugh. 
the love of God, opponents. They're going to flicker their own thing? Sure. Great. If only I had more ways to kill things. I guess I can just do it again. Whatever. D. Keep up the great work, Jim. What's up, my friend? Six six month resub. Welcome back. Ringleader. Uh oh, we can't cast either one of those. That's super awkward. All right. Um. I guess we just attack with everything. Would I trade Displacer for a War Chief? Um, you don't have a persist creature yet, so not dead yet. I kinda wanna keep Patrick Mons in play too, actually. And like this. Yeah, it's fine. Let's do this. Ever play Mog Infestation? Uh, I don't know what that is. I think it's before my time. Like, like Mercadian Mask or something like that? Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. Flicker a token. Uh, Psych it for a red. Going upstairs. Zodiac Brave, resub, six months, welcome back. Uh, yeah. I mean, now... Now I can kill the Displacer by sacking two goblins. I think I probably want to do that. Actually, well, I guess I can just kill. Eh, whatever. I'll probably just kill them next turn. It doesn't. It just doesn't matter. It's just a comedy of whatever the hell we want, basically. All right, your turn. Whatever. Go. One card and end. Kill me. Okay. Victory is at hand. Ah, the game's afoot. Two one. Uh, we've only gotten one Grum Gully combo off, though. So far, we've just been basically a regular Goblins deck. It's important to keep track of that and see uh, if the combo feels worth it or not. Of course, Mog Mondays is brought to you by Coalesce Apparel Design. We got a Goblin shirt coming. They're designing me a new shirt. Not a new shirt, just a shirt. The first shirt they're designing me. It's going to be sweet. Look for that soon. And, uh... Check out all their other great shirts as well. Not only are they super cool, great designs, they're also really comfortable. When I think about... And uh, check it out, coalesceapparel.shop. Use promo code JIM10 for 10% off your order on Coalesce Apparel and Design. Check it. Good stuff. Combo is Grumgully, a Persist Creature, and a Sack Outlet. Similar to Malaria Combo. But all the cards are pretty reasonable by themselves, too. So, Pretty fine hand here. Pretty fine hand. Snow-covered mountain. Play an Aether Vial. Play an Aether Vial. No, Lava Spike. Ugh. Lava Spike worse for us than Aether Vial, that's for sure. Unclaimed territory. All right. I mean, that's actually pretty nice, because now we can cast Crumb Gully. Uh, without fetching a shock land like that. War Marshal on two is good against uh, Burn. No one drop scares me though, because if they have a uh, an idol on here, no. Okay. What's going on? I imagine comboing against Burn seems almost impossible. 
Uh, so that's kind of an issue, but I want to step by a second vial. Just so you go. Fetch your stomping ground. Get both vials going. We have two matrons now. War Chief. We can do some, some pretty serious stuff here. We have a pile driver in our main deck. Lava Dart? Uh, Alright. It's like a prowess deck with no prowess. They must, they must have a, a, like a Bedlam Reveler or something. Yeah, they, they, they just try to cast a Reveler. So they, they have Reveler. It's just a prowess deck with Reveler. Uh, so, I mean, they need a land to cast Reveler. So we got a ways to go before that happens. Um, we got to kill him, though. We definitely got to kill him. Munitions expert. Alright, we're, uh, we're slam jamming here. Alright, party over here. They must have mulligan this game, right? Yeah, they mulligan to six. Yeah, they, they seem light on cards. Crack canopy, sure. I mean, we're about to go pretty nuts. Okay. Uh, yeah. Even more nuts, I suppose. Like, there's no point in trying to go for a combo here, because, like, we can just kill them normally. So, like, definitely a count against the combo, but... I mean, does a Sling Gang kill them here? Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, that kills them, like, ten ways till Sunday. All right. Cast the damn card! We have no pile drivers in our deck. We are a combo deck. We have one pile driver on the board. And they died to literally everything here, so. Lightning Bolt, my Sling Gang. I guess that's, that's true. They, they, have, they have a dart in the graveyard, too. I mean, I'm an idiot. Uh, whatever. They're just dead. Um. Yeah, whatever. Just don't matter. Yeah, there's your Bedlam Reveler. Um, you are dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. Dead, 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 dead. All right, do your thing, I guess. Yeah, goblins. Mog Monday. So, so far, our problem being that it's just like the main goblin plan just seems better than the combo plan. Um, also, comboing against a, a four lightning bolt deck seems very, very difficult. So, we're going to just kind of shave down on our combo here and bring in brutalities. Um, just play a more a regular game because it just seems like a very bad matchup for trying combo. Like, they have Lava Dart for Prospector, they have Bolt for Grim Gully. They just have way too many, way to kill, way too many ways to kill things. So we'll leave in one of each. Try this. Try this. Just guy went nine and two. Link to my latest non combo list. It's the most recent one I on my YouTube. Most recent Goblin video in the modern section is my current list. 
Coupan, new sub. What's your name? Where you from? Welcome, my friend. Kind of a medium hand. It's not really great because we don't do much in the early game. I'm going to keep it. They mulligan. We have a vial. But... No Sysphere. Alright. Well, I should have clarified. Ugh. Mate, fetch lands. Alright, Mog War Marshal off the top. Coupans from Columbus. Have you ever eaten a Melt? I'm a big Melt fan. Hmm, no spell. Okay. Okay. Mog War Marshal. No. Alright, I mean, not a great start, but Patrick Mons and Expert next turn isn't awful, and they're not really pressuring us a ton, so that's pretty bad. I suppose there's a chance we just play Expert to block here. Depending on how many, how many spells they cast. <laughs> yeah, Meld is, Meld is dope. Alright, yeah, I think we're going to cast a, an Expert here just to block and just try and gain 3 life. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god. A braid lava dart. Okay, well now we're not casting an expert to block. We're just dead. And we're just dead on turn three here. This is insane. They go dart, dart, seven is 14. Okay, I'm sorry, they have they have 15 damage, not 16 damage. They are one short of killing us. Alright. Um, I suppose we kept a somewhat sketchy hand. Ugh. I have to take his call. I'm sorry, folks. It's a contractor. Sorry, folks. It's a contractor. Yes, I, I actually just said Oonga Boonga over and over and over again. That was a fake phone call. I just needed a second. You know, just needed a second of a reprisal. All right. Um, oh, boy. So we drew the brutality, and we have no black to cast it. That's really rough. And the hand's pretty bad otherwise. We got a mulligan. That sucks. All right, this hand is significantly better. Um, we're gonna keep this, ship the red cap, and say done. Play a pain-free land on one. If we draw another pain-free land on two, we're probably gonna discard this land to our brutality. The problem is that obviously mulliganing on the play makes brutality a lot worse, but monastery sphere, you got it. Perfect. It's a decent card to discard. All right, so we're going to um, we're just going to kill and duress. We're not going to drain. Um, it's not worth two life. Trade one of our, one of our cards in. We're going to pray for no mutagenic growth. Okay. They have crash through, bolt, bolt, metamorphose. So perfect. Their hand is very, very airy. 
Uh, the prowess deck is much more explosive than burn, but it is much more vulnerable to its creatures being killed. And uh, now they have like nothing really going on, which is awesome. So they have crash through, lightning bolt, M metamorphose, and some lands. And we don't got much going on either, but we have a matron for a ringleader eventually. So. Yeah, if they're raw dogging Manamorphose on turn two just to try and draw a threat, that's awesome for us. Crash through, perfect. If they're casting these cards without getting prowess triggers, they're not very good. Perfect. What might have land here? Lander spell is good, honestly. I mean, the painy lands suck a little bit. We only have one Grumgully in our deck, so we're not going to bother too much with trying to get a red. Again, comboing here against the, the Lightning Bolt deck seems pretty hard, so I'm just going to play a fair game. Um, get Ringleader, and just there you go. Sack in a Canopy feels good. Feels good. Playing a mountain and saying go. Love it. Love to see it. Now, we would redraw a land or a spell, and I'm a happy man. File up. No echo. Land or spell. It's probably one of the worst ones, but we could Prospector here and sack two goblins but and cast ring leader, but like, we're not really in a rush. This is fine. I'd rather have more material. We're at 17 life. I'm feeling pretty good about this game. Don't think we need to be, uh... No, don't be hasty. It's mostly just not Aether Vial is what we're looking to draw. So our only brick right now is Aether Vial. Lava Dart, Skirk, Prospector. Sure. You got me. It's dead. Oh, Vial's going to four real fast. Okay, never mind. Mm, sure. Not the end of the world there, of course. Ringleader says, Prospector, Prospector. It's kind of a bad ringleader, but even bad ringleaders are still fine. Barring like a Kozlux return or like a Volcanic Fallout, I think we're in good shape this game. They have one, two, three, four. They are drawing live to a Bedlam Reveler, which would be troublesome. Now the question is, do I play these prospectors or not? Uh, it does put them to exactly dead. So I think I do. I'm not sure if we can actually beat a Master Rule spell at this point, so... Bolt us? Alright, so that means they, they, have a, they have a Reveler. That kind of sucks. No, they have a hard cast light up a stage. Lava Dart Mountain. Alright, so they're not dead. Because they have three total castings of Lava Dart. One one in the yard and the one they just they just hit. So they can kill my stuff, but they're also not killing us, so it's good. These decks usually board a Cosmic Return or a Volcanic Fallout. And they're really working hard to keep our Prospectors out of play. They are very scared of Prospector. Alright, um they have Yeah. Coming in. I still have a, a dart in the bin. Mono red decks are certainly somewhat inconsistent. They are very, very powerful when they work, but they don't draw their cards in the right order. Don't find a reveler. Find draw too many revelers, and so on and so forth. Things can get certainly awkward for them. All right, cool. We got them. Sweet. So the combo half of the deck has not been too exciting. Um, part of the problem is that the things that are good normally against goblins are also good against the combo. Um, so, like, we're not really, like, juking anybody. You know, the best combo decks are the ones like like Thopter Depths from a long time ago. It was an old extended deck that played the Thopter Foundry combo and the Dark Depths Vampire Hex Mage combo, and they're both completely different. One makes 20-20. That's, that's, that's bad against spot removal. 
and kills you immediately. One made a million one ones that was slow and inevitable, and it was good against spot removal. So if one was good, then the other was bad, and vice versa. But um, the combo is Grum Gully plus plus any persist creature. Uh, we combo killed our opponent in game one, round one, but we probably didn't need to, honestly, um, because we were already winning the game. So the combo does feel a little win more at the moment. Um, all right, Scalding Tarn, go. When Oko turns an artifact into a creature, is it still an artifact? No. It ceases to be everything but a 3-3 elk creature. It's green. End step, fetch island. Not snow-covered island. And then do nothing. It's interesting. Um, so not a dual land and not a spell. And not a snow-covered land. Watery grave. So they could have fetched the watery grave, and I, I don't know why they didn't. I don't get it. Glimpse the unthinkable. Okay. They hit a lot of lands. Stoneblade decks just aren't very good. Modern feels pretty, like, busted right now. Just, like, do something really fast or dumb or die. Like, burn and Valakit and Mox Opal decks and... I don't know. I didn't... I've not been enjoying Modern a ton lately. Um... I mean, our left total seems totally irrelevant, so... Not a very... F oh, whoops. Not a very fast clock here. Um, God, just cast my damn spells. And, honestly, Mill seems like kind of a hard matchup. They're kind of like Burn, where we're not really interacting with them. They can just kind of like cast their spells and kill us. And we're not extremely fast. I'm going to draw a Prospector or a land next turn. It's going to be a little while. I think Emery is the most broken card in Eldraine for uh, Eternal Formats. Drown Catacomb. We are 3-1. I don't know why the thing went away. It was working for a bit. Now it's not working again. All right. Um, so we're going up here, and we'd like to draw land. Really, really bad. Lando Calrissian. Huh. Sweet. Uh oh. Extirpate, targeting Grumgully the Generous. Our opponents really don't want us to combo. Like, really don't want us to combo. They're really scared of it, too. I mean, that we have, our opponents have been killing Skirk Prospector, like, on sight. On sight. Mog Monday season approaching. Watch what you all hearing. All right, so grumgully has gone. Goblin. I'm pretty sure we're just playing our Munitions Expert uh, as a 1-1 one, one Haster, because I don't think it does anything else this matchup. And frankly, killing them is pretty important, so... Yeah, Oko is certainly playable in older formats. F6 coming in. No uh 
No scheming symmetry currently. Uh, there's a Sheldock Isle. Not close to that one yet. Got a package here. It's stream related. After I finish streaming today, I'm going to work on the new computer. They are playing Scheming Symmetry. So we're going to search for a card, and I assume whatever we search for is going to get milled. So like, now we're in like a bit of a, you know, a, uh, a little mind game here of do we bother searching for a good card or a bad card? I'm going to get a bad card. They're going to mill me. New technology. Looking forward to opening that one up. Playing with that. Alright, so they milled my Aether Vial. Rats. Um, I mean, we're going to try and kill him this turn. Unfortunately, there's no, there's no pile drivers in our deck. So, Mutant's Expert, yeah. Tired of drawing those. Ringleader. Uh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. We're not taking the Expert, and we're not taking the War Chief. I want those cards in my deck. We are going to take Pashik Mons and Sling Gang Lieutenant, because those cards kill our opponent. Wait, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11. They're dead. Never mind. We're good. Just taking those two. Oh, you have to take them? Uh Never mind. It's not even an option. They're dead. Doesn't matter. Not quite a pile driver, but got that new technology. Coming in. Oh my god, it's crashing. Oh god. Alright. Um, so we're not going to want the experts. I don't know, we're, we're going to leave one expert in, because you know, I was leaving one. Bring a pile driver. Uh, we could bring in like a hooligan just to deal with like a random ensnaring bridge, something like that. Or like a mesmeric orb. Orb. Uh... I don't think I want thought seeds. Just kill them. Just kill them. You know? We don't care about Bridge anyway. They just have, they just have freaking... Uh, we have Grum Gully combo, and we have Sling Gang Lieutenant. All these non-combat ways to kill them, you know? Oh, look who's awake. Hiding behind his wheel. Zibby, you can't be camera shy. You're, you're, you're a goddamn mascot on a stream. There are thousands, I mean, dozens of people watching you right now. All right. Do you ever put in more than 60? Uh, you got to have a really, really good reason to put in more than 60. Um, I think that... I think that the the notion of playing exactly 60 is obviously correct almost all the time. I think people are a little afraid to try different things. I think that there's occasionally reasons you might want to do more than 60. Uh, for example, like a Valakit deck where you want to play a certain number of mountains, but also don't want to include that many mountains in your mana base. So you want to up your ratio of non-mountain lands without removing the number of mountains. All against mill. That makes sense. Uh, I don't think so. They're not going to mill you by like two or three cards, you know? Um, I think you don't want to dilute your deck. Just kill them. Just do your thing. In limited, I think so. Um, in limited, you know, when a, when a mill deck is popular... Um, I think boarding in any reasonable card is a good idea. Try and get your deck to like 50 cards. That can be huge. But in Constructed, like, we just want our deck to do what it does consistently. And if I, if I, if I bring in a bunch of crappy cards and throw out my mana base, like, it's just not a good idea, I don't think. You're more likely to, like, slow yourself down by a turn and give them the extra turn to draw the extra Glimpse the Unthinkable than you are to have enough cards in your deck and still win, you know? So. Val, I love you too. 
On the draw, we have two parts of our combo. We gotta keep, right? We're keeping. Hand's not great, but I would like the combo kill somebody of this league. Um, but I'm all against the six. We draw a prospector, we'll kill him on turn, turn four. Poets mulling to extirpate. Yep. They're scared. They're scared. Swamp. Scheming symmetry turn one. Oh, they have archive trap. All right, sure. The problem is, I we tried this card in a mill deck. It doesn't even seem good. Because this card's Vampiric Tutor. It's not Demonic Tutor. So you just lose a card when you cast it. And the mill deck is kind of like a critical mass deck anyway. Where you're trying to assemble a critical mass of mill effects to mill them. And that just puts you down a card. Alright, so whatever we get, they're gonna we're going to lose. So let's just ship a... I don't know. What's our worst card? Field of Ruin, probably? Sure, Field of Ruin. It would be awesome if they if, if just said go, though. I mean, if they didn't have Archive Trap, and they were just, like, gaming us. It's sort of like when you're when you're Jace Fate stealing someone, and you see a good card on top, but you leave it there, so they crack their fetch line anyway. Just like a little, like, game theory, level 0, level 1, several, level 2 stuff. Alright. Well, we drew an Aether Vial. That's cool. I should have fetched. That was stupid. Before they draw more Archive Traps, I should have fetched. Also, they might mill my Stomping Ground, which would suck. Bad, Jim. Bad. What's up, Union? Nothing? Wow. How about that? Prospector. No. Mog War Marshall here on Mog Mondays, episode two, Mog Mondays. I want your feedback. What do you guys think of Mog Mondays? Y'all wanted me to do it. All right. So, YouTube folks, comments, likes, feedback. You like Mog Mondays, you need to let me know. Because if uh, these sort of shows don't work out, I will cancel them. Right, Zibby? No! Mogtastic. <laughs> What's Zibby doing? He's making a bed in that corner. Corner castle. King in the castle. King in the castle. Hi, Zibby. He's gathering all the garbage for his uh for his corner. He does like that corner a lot. One thing I do know about today is that our opponents have played incredibly slow. Um, if we had an overall clock counter for our opponents and us... We must, be, we must be ahead like 40 minutes or something like that. It's been ridiculous. I'm not the fastest magic player of all time, but like a lot of long pauses. Alright, so we drew Warchief. We're going to play that. I guess we could Grim Gully and then Mogmore Marshall, but we Warchief, we can Red Cap next turn. Hmm. If we Grim Gully now, we can actually just do everything next turn. We can War Chief and Red Cap, and we draw Prospector, we kill them. Or Matron. Alright. We're gonna Grim Gully. Yes, I think I think that Field of the Dead is Field of the Field of uh Field of Ruin 
should be in every core set. And Field of the Dead is pretty obnoxious, and there are not a lot of good ways to deal with it. Alright. Um, Grumgelly. A silly hat. That's really rude. Okay. So they're like a... Alright, sure. I mean, mill decks don't typically play much interaction, but okay, sure, why not? Sort of like playing a counterspell on your burn deck, you know? Extirpate. They really are... One thing about today is definitely true. Our opponents really, really, really don't want us to combo. Even if it's, like, strategically incorrect, they are hell-bent on making sure we do not combo with Grim Grilly. Despite the fact that it doesn't even seem good to me. Like... Alright, they have one card left. Mesmeric Orb. Alright, well, we're gonna mill a lot of cards. They're mulligan to extra base and a payoff big time. Payoff big time. Dividends. Dividends. I have to stack these? Oh my god. Oh, they're under here. Never mind. Going up. What are that? 18. We're still drawing Prospector, too. It's unreal. This is 100% Prospector. Eh. Eh. So, what is this? A two turn clock? No, nah, it's 16. We need to find two more points of damage. Never mind, there's two points right there. It's <laughs> this card does stuff. Exactly a two turn clock. We are milling a lot of cards next turn, but Yeah, F6, let's go. So we are milling six, seven, eight, we're milling ten cards next turn. So they can mill eighteen cards off the top of our deck. We are going to lose. Vile go up or nah? I might get a matron. I win anyway. I think any card it doesn't really matter what I do, honestly. Alright, we did not draw. We're gonna name. What should we name? Hag. Kind of like Hag. Name Hag. Sheep is there too. Sheep is there too. Uh, Gerbil Hamster's not there. I did that in round nine of the classic. I, uh, Crypt Incursion? That's a tilt. They're at 59 life. Ah, uh, we're dead. Um... I played a, a Cavern of Souls on the last turn before I killed my opponent, and I named Hamster. Okay, well, is our pile driver in here too? It is. Well, I don't think we can win anymore. Uh, we can't combo. Nope, they already they they extirpated my my grim my grim gullies. They're gone. We didn't side them out. They extirpated them. They really didn't want us to do it. They played a card called Crypt Incursion. It is a 3 mana instant. Exile all creature cards from target player's graveyard. You gain 3 life for each card ex exiled this way. And uh, I just don't think we can win anymore. We can't deal 50 damage before we get milled. Alright, next game.
Ponta hater. Ponta hater. Can you believe it? All right. Um, maybe we want Trash Master too, just to deal with um, to deal with the uh, Mesmeric Orb as well. I'm gonna cut a Red Cap. They seem to be hell bent on making sure we don't combo. So let's try that one again. I mean, we could thought seize them, but eh. I, gotta take, I gotta take combo cards out, you know. If it, if we knew they had uh, had crab in their deck, I'd be more interested in brutality. But relics, no. What's up, infinite? We are in match number five of Mog Mondays, episode two. Um, episode one, actually. Episode two didn't get aired. Or maybe it will get aired. I haven't aired it yet. I don't know what to do. Episode one, Mog Mondays. Episode zero was during the 24-hour uh, stream, and I was pretty tired and grumpy. All right, don't you dare archive trap me. Yeah, I mean, Relic in response to Crypt Incursion is pretty narrow. Let's we'll just actually kill our opponent, you know? Uh, Goblin Emote is coming when my, when my first t-shirt comes from Coalesce. All right, Archive Trap. You got it. You've Archive Trapped me. They hit a Grum Gully. Didn't a Pile Driver, that's the important one. What's your list look like, Super? Oh wow, they do have they do, they do have crabs. They do have crabs. All right. Well, makes me feel dumb. Do we have to kill it anyway? It's dead. We drew our one expert. That's why you leave in one expert to kill their one crab. Crab people, crab people. Your turn. So next turn we have Pashikmons. We can set up for Matron into something. We currently have one piece of a combo. Scheming symmetry. Okay. We're gonna search for an eighth or vial. And I I hope they just say go. I would love it if they just said go. Bolzari, resub, 14 months, welcome back. Love to see a little gamesmanship here. Extirpate. Targeting Grum Gully. We got it. All right. We get it. We're never going to combo. I understand. Get it. Just put the list in chat, Super. Normally, I don't accept unsolicited lists, but it's Mog Monday. And you have a Mog-themed deck. That's similar to what I'm doing, and I like to see it. Cavern Souls. Okay. Um... Don't want to fetch it all. I think I do want to fetch, actually, because I want to be able to uh, play a four drop. We'd be bored in the one pile driver, yes. So the question becomes... I guess we're Pashik Monings. Yeah, we're going to Pashik Mons. And then we're going to uh, set up for a Matron for uh, the card. Uh, Sling Gang next turn and kill them. They have a Crypt Incursion, we're, we're in trouble, but what are we gonna do, you know? What are we gonna do? They have it, they search for it.
So they're going to gain 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24 life. Um, they've milled two of my three ringleaders. Yeah, it's running over ring later, I guess. Super, just put it in chat, my friend. All right, so we're gonna get ring later, um, and just go try and go big here because they're gonna be trying to uh, gain a million life and make us feel bad about our life. Took our grum gullies. I'm gonna leave them on the screen. It makes me sad. Prospector, Red Cap, War Chief. It's not the worst. So they're just gaining 24 life. It's not that bad. 24 is doable. It's no 50 or 60 life, you know. We comboed in game one, match one, and probably didn't need to, to win. We have not comboed since. We have played against a number of decks that uh, interact favorably with the combo. Um, our opponents have also been hell-bent on us not comboing. They've killed every prospector on site, correct or incorrect. This opponent has extirpated Grim Gully all three games. Um, our opponents are hell-bent on us not comboing. But the combo doesn't seem very good anyway. It just feels like we're winning most of our... I mean, we're 3-1 we're and one just playing goblins. We're playing an inferior goblin deck, and we're 3-1. We're you know? Visions of Beyond. That draws them... One card? Alright. Sure. I might be able to kill them in response to a Crypt Incursion. Right, so the deck the deck sort of feels like a Birthing Pod deck, where we're not like, we don't need to combo to win. We have this backdoor combo, which is kind of cool, but like, it's not really coming up very often, you know? In the longer games, like, we just ride our card advantage to victory anyway, so. Yes, I, I'm, I plan on seeing Joker, yes. Um... Uh, we're going to leave it on three and buy on the war chief. Because he's the trash man. Yeah, he's the trash man. All right. So, I mean, if they have crypt incursion, um, we can actually kill them in response if they don't do it right. If they allow our red cap to resolve, uh, they're dead. Okay, uh, hold on, hold on. I should cast the, the prospector first. So, sack for red, sack for red, S sacrifice... Ringleaders, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we're one short. I should have played the uh, the Prospector. All right, that's fun. So they go to 33. I think I might be able to just kill Mr. anyway, honestly. Um, with Trash Master. I've done no math. It's a lot, though. Nine? That is exactly lethal. You know, you... Oh, uh, wait, no, it's not. We're one short. God damn it. 
I don't know. Maybe they'll scoop. So I can't. I can't sacrifice Pashik Mons. Like we have eight goblins to play, and they're at eight. But we can't sacrifice. Pashik Mons can't be our last creature because then we can't sacrifice it. So we are we are one short. So we'll see what happens. Oh, duh, you're right. I'm dumb. I can make mana. We got it. We can. We're good. Everything's good. Don't worry. We're good. I forgot that we were making mana. So we can't do it without mana, but because we're making six mana, we can sacrifice the Patrick Monster itself. Correct? Correct. Chat's right for once. In life. Ever. We won! So, um... How about that? Actual chat lethal. Actual chat lethal. The first time. It is the year. Mark this date down in history. It is October 7th, 2019, 4.58 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The first time chat was ever right about chat lethal. All right. So, um, yeah. Mog Mondays, 4-1. and one. The problem is that, like, we built the combo deck and never comboed. We just played goblins. We just played bad goblins and won anyway. Um, again, our opponents were pretty hell-bent on us not comboing. Uh, the combo seems good in unfair matchups. Um, we're going to win the, the long game matchups anyway. You know, because we, uh, we just grind better than most decks. The cool part about the combo is we're playing against like Tron or like the, the paradoxical outcome decks. We can like combo kill them. Like the the match against the uh, the Kethis deck, we could have comboed and killed them, you know. Whereas actually killing them with damage would have taken a really really long time. Uh, so, um, I don't know. We didn't combo ever. So, Olag's list. I wish I would love them in a goldfish list. Um, four Skirk, four Frog Tosser, four Putrid, four Grum, four Matron, four Ringleader, two Pashik, one Sling, one Red Cap, two Munitions, one three Mariner. One Tarfire, 12 five color lands. Eh. I just think that the problem is that, like, if you go all in on the combo, like, and you play bad cards trying to facilitate your combo, now you're just like a bad combo deck. You know, like, the, I think the, the, the cool idea was that you'd be playing essentially just like a reasonable goblin deck with a combo also. Um, like, I don't think Frog Tosser or Banner is a playable magic card, you know. Um, also, you're, you're only playing one red cap. Like, I guess you're playing four Putrid Goblins, which is fine, but I don't know. I think maybe trying a version that's more combo would be reasonable. Um, maybe you'll see that on a future Mog Monday. But overall, not super impressed by Grum Gully. But Mog Mondays, I guess this is episode one. So thanks for watching Mog Mondays, folks. Um, you can follow the stream with that follow button. Of course, watching on YouTube, make sure you follow on there. Big ups to all my new subs. Um, again, please leave your feedback in the comments on the Twitter, either in chat or on YouTube comments like share, whatever, etc., etc. Um, Rog, we went 4-1, and one, but we only comboed one time, and the time we comboed, it wasn't even really relevant. We probably would have won anyway. So, yes, Mog Mondays, for those who don't know, I'll be playing Goblins every Monday going forward. Uh, try and do something different every Monday. So maybe like Standard Goblins, Legacy Goblins, Popper Goblins, different variations on Goblins, just all Goblin-themed stuff. It's what, all, it's what you wanted to see, and I'm going to sell out, so I'll do it. All right? But uh, that's it for Mog Mondays. I'll see you fine folks tomorrow for more uh, stream action. Uh, maybe you're reading tomorrow. I don't know. I got to figure it out. But thanks for watching as always. And um, hit that follow button, like I said. Check out my sponsors, uh, CoolStuffInc.com. If you want to keep watching me, my video is up right now on CoolStuffInc.com. Go watch it. Jeskai Ascendancy Combo with Emery in Modern. And then, of course, BCW Supplies, promo code Jim 10 And, of course, Coalesce Design and Apparel. Get your cool shirts right now. All right? That's Mog Monday. Y'all wanted it. Y'all got it. See you guys next time, all right?